Welcome to Holding Down the Fort. It's Barrett Miller here along the trail at Fort White Alive near our bridge, the bypass around our interpretive center under renovation right now. As you explore Fort White Alive or your neighborhood nature nook this time of year, from the very end of June through the first couple weeks of July, you might notice something that looks a little bit gross in the bush. It might look like somebody was walking along the trail and just <laughs> spitting all the way. You're not seeing somebody who's not practicing good hygiene. What you're seeing is actually the nymph stage of the frog hopper insect, commonly known as spittle bugs. I have some spittle bug spit on a goldenrod stem here. Now, I used to think that was the eggs of the frog hopper. It's not. The frog hopper larva or spittle bug have a unique feeding strategy. Most insects that eat the juices of plants eat the really sugary stuff going down into the roots of the plant not the watery stuff coming up from the roots spittle bugs eat the watery stuff and secrete the sticky foamy looking product as a waste what that does it's a type of camouflage it hides the spittle bug nymph as it feeds in something that looks well like spit sort of provokes a disgust reaction in birds and mammals so by Getting rid of that extra water, it concentrates the nutrition in its food and it hides itself from predators. One of the many fascinating adaptations that happen all around us all the time. Now for me, spittle bugs always mark the end of school, the end of the school year, because you only see them near the end of June and into the beginning of July. I hope that you have your own nature moment to mark the season turning, and I really hope that you can come explore here at Fort White. If not, Look for spittlebugs in your neighborhood nature nook. We're holding down the fort. It's better.